Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Stats. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a new module I found on the Drupal website called W uh, the Wow JS. Uh, wow JS, uh, as you can read, is used for integrating the Wow JS library into Drupal. Uh, it's used for animations in uh, uh, on on our different websites. Uh, to take a look at an example of how Wow JS works. If I go to that website, as you can see, as you scroll down, different effects take place, shaking, circles, um, the scrolling, fading, fade out, and things like that. Uh, so we're going to try and uh, reproduce this kind of effects in Drupal uh, using the Wild.js module. Uh, to follow this tutorial, I'm also also be using two other modules called the Animate CSS module, uh, which I think, um, uh, yeah. It's got about 563 downloads and um, it's not yet, um, what's the word, a uh, recommended release. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be using Animate CSS and the Block Animate module, which has got about 53 downloads. They are all pretty new modules on the Drupal website. Uh, to begin, I'm going to, oh, let me show you another example of WoWJS. Uh, here's one I found. Uh, so as you scroll, you see different effects. Uh, so you see bouncing, uh, shaking, fading, fade out, things like that. So let's try producing some of these effects uh, on our Drupal website. Uh, to begin, I've created a simple uh, site uh, with different blocks. Uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to download uh, the block animate module, the wild.js module and the animate CSS module. Uh, so yeah, crash, download, animate, underscore CSS on JS well JS and the block animate which block animate we download these three modules via Drush uh, for those who do not know how to use Drush uh, simply go to your website click and download extract them into your sites or modules folder uh, yeah and once that is done, we will enable our module. So now let's go ahead and enable our module. Trush enable animate let's go CSS file JS and uh, block animate. So yeah. That command should enable our three modules and we should be ready uh, to use these modules on our Drupal website. Right, once your download is complete, the next thing you want to do is if you, if you go to the WoWJS um, website, uh, project page rather, uh, you should find a link to the WoWJS library. Uh, if you click on that, it should take you to this page. Uh, let's go back. Uh, it should take you to this page and then click on GitHub and then you can uh, simply download the zip file. Uh, you're also going to download the uh, library for the animate CSS file. So if you go to GitHub again here, uh, click on download zip and that should also uh, download the file. Uh, download those files and save them into your site or libraries folder. Uh, make sure to rename them uh, once you've extracted them to wow and animate. And once you've done this, you're ready uh, to use these modules on your Drupal website. Now I'm back on my Drupal website uh, for us to use this module. Uh, first of all, let me just clear the cache. Now, once our cache is cleared, I refresh my page. Okay, to use the modules now, uh, if you right click configure block, um, the block animate module would have created this new section on your block page called animate CSS animation. I simply select any animation you would like to use. For this one, I will be using Wobble. Uh, we could use Shake. Uh, you can set an infinite loop to this animation. You can set an animation duration, a delay, an offset, an iteration, whatever you like. You can save block. And now, once you refresh, you should see uh, that particular block uh, shake. If I refresh again, you should see that shake. Let's apply this. A, di a different animation to uh, this block. If I click on block, scroll down to the animate CSS animation block, 
uh, let's look for um, each time around let's say fading and let's click on save blocks and beautiful so now we've got two different animations taking place and let's add one more configure block and let's go to the animate CSS animation block and let's select this time around sliding up and click on save blocks and that should slide the block in now uh, I think uh, this brings us to the end of this tutorial I'll see you in the next lesson thank you